and boom. boom. <laughs> Let's fall out. Let's fall out. Or jazz hands. Hey, Brian. Woo. Hey, you guys. Welcome back. Dumb Luck Brewing Video Podcast, episode number 18, Late Night Edition. You know that's gotta be good. Saturday night, late night. So it makes it go. Makes it go, what? Yeah, mm. so what time is it now? We're, we're freaking, it's 11.24. Hello, Stone Gray. Yeah, on the are, West Coast. It's 11.24 on the West Coast. If you're on the East Coast, you're probably sitting around 3 a.m. Yeah, uh, or actually two thirty or three thirty, which means you're you're you know you're probably playing video games or masturbating, or both. <laughs> but as long as you're watching us while you're doing it, I'm happy. Yeah, right. Just slip us five and things will happen. Oh, nope. all the things. <clears throat> oh, after dark, dumb luck brewing after dark is a spicy. That's exactly right, epic. That's true because we had one a few weeks ago. It was like a it later, was, a later, a, later show. Yeah, it was. I was that was like a month ago, was it? That was the last. That was the tournament. That was oh after yeah, the tournament. That was after tournament. Yeah. But we were drinking quite a bit on that one. It was, a, it was yeah. more of a celebration. Yeah, that was kind a of celeb- podcast. celebratory podcast. This is just you know random drinking podcast. Speaking of drinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we got going for drinks? I know you got a few lined up here. Yeah, yeah, I got a few beverages. I got a few beverages here. Um, what I'm thinking I'm gonna go with first is this Guinness. The old classic. Oh, there you go. Oh, did you see that? There was a transition, and yeah. it was like it went from. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Right into frame. How Man, about that? This is like How a commercial. That? It's like we know what we're doing now. Yeah. Oh my god. That's what I like about the Guinness. You can always hear the little uh, the little CO2, widget. Is it a CO two cartridge? Nitrogen, actually. Or is it nitrogen. Yeah, they um, they uh, charge it with nitrogen. That's why you have to drink it in the cup. Oh my God, Monica, could you please be of a kind and press the little red button up in there? Yeah. Oh my! Oh my God! Making a huge mess. There we go. There we go. Oh, Sangre, you're hosting us. Thank you very much for the host. Hello. It's... <laughs> speaking of, oh, speaking of which, we didn't introduce yeah. our audience, our wonderful audience today. Oh, somebody needs to come and be the controller. And again, Brian, you have to. We have to thank Sangre for hosting us. Five of her viewers. Oh, perfect. Nice. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, it's getting a little wild on the That's chat it. there. Right, man. Yeah, drunk fox. You <laughs> should be. We yeah. should be. Yeah, we're working Why on. Not? It. We're well, well into the. Well, you're working on the Guinness. I'm I got the Guinness. On yes. My old faithful here again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Alexander Keats in your pale oh, ale. Try that one more time again. The 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 IPA that is anything but. Oops, that was my bad. My bad. There we go. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Old classic. The classic. Old standby. Cheers to that. Mm-hmm. Wow. There's just so many types of beers. Oh, out posted there. about us in your Discord too. Oh, Sangre here. Just just a fantastic moderator slash tech assistant slash knowledge base of greatness and she always tells us when our audio is shit yeah i hopefully you can tell us if anything else is also shit i know i know these cams are looking a little rough we're trying something different here i think it's a little bit better all right all right look they can see me talking yeah and then you can see him talking no from outside from outer space cam yeah oh our outer space cam bye hi Yay! Right, that's pretty good. So, what are you drinking there, Monica? I am drinking. Whoop! Well, well, I'm pressing. Oh, oh, that's right. I didn't assign the button. Never mind. I have. Okay. There's. Was there audio on that? There. I think uh, Monica's audio is probably pretty crap. So you'll have to really enunciate. I haven't set that to send audio yet. So if I could set that to send audio, then you'd sound a whole lot better. 
Yeah, really? But we've already started broadcasting, unfortunately. Here we are. We it's... ran through all the technical stuff while we were off air. We just jumped through it and you can't hear and her. See what happens. Yeah, I, I guess we didn't have anything mm-hmm. for that. So don't worry. Yeah. If you Monica Cam is dead audio. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> West West Coast Tyrant. Where are we located? We are located in the West Coast. The Lower Mainland. We are in the uh, general vicinity south of the bridge. Delta. I'm in Delta. Canada. Canada. <laughs> DC. Vancouver, uh, uh, roughly. Uh, Delta. Alright. Bourbon and water for me and the miss. Oh, Ryan. Ryan and Rook working on that bourbon. Yeah. Bourbon action, that's great. But he just had a belt promotion. A belt promotion. Congratulations Con- to him. Yes, congratulations. Oh. Everyone, give some uh, applause there. Great job there, buddy. I need one of those Super lights. Super proud. Audience. Clap yeah, audience clap lights. But it's going to be out of shot anyway. Oh, there okay. you go. Yeah. Well, I thought yeah. it'd help us out too. Keeny, yeah. Oh, Squamish. Welcome, Squamish. West Coast Tyrant. Squampton. It's a very aggressive name. Squampton. Tyrant. That, that's the thing that's been going around for a while, right? <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. You get the asitch? No, the Squampton. Squampton. Yeah. It's like it's like oh, Crom- oh. Crompton in LA. But, oh, you know, I, I thought you were going but, further with that as no, if it I'm, was an STD. Okay, well, we can talk about yeah, STDs you, got, you got the Squampton. Later, <laughs> you got the, did you get Squampton? Oh, it's getting around. But I did see someone yeah, that had yeah, the, yeah. the sticker like, on the, the back sticker of the on the car. The sticker on the car, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like Compton, but Squampton. Squampton. They're yeah. like, like trying to show their, their street cred because they live in a resort town. I guess so, yeah. but you know, it's hard being by a it's... big mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's Watching hard. out for guys on their uh, doing base jumps yep, landing yep. in your backyard. Yeah, that's some tricky shit, you know. Tricky shit. Level up. Yeah, buddy, you totally leveled up. After yellow... <laughs> Move up to orange, and orange to green, green to blue. As we are in the Lovato system, and uh, of jujitsu, of jujitsu, Brazilian jujitsu, and um, the white belt has an additional three uh, ranks to it. You do the four stripes like a standard uh, white belt, white belt, and then uh, you have those three extra: <laughs> the yellow, the orange, and the green. Before you get the blue belt, most schools just go straight from white to blue. But usually takes forever. Yeah, because you sit there at that four stripe for yeah. two years. Or or, or does it yeah. like do other schools like you don't get stripes till very rarely? Yeah, well, I mean, it all depends on the instructor and how they like to pull their <clears throat> their um, ranks and uh, set up their students, you know, so they can. It's all about them organizing. How, you know, being uh, being able to keep track of all their students and how they're doing and what level they're at, yeah, okay. and then also how um, you know giving people a little bit of motivation, you know, moving along. Right? So mm-hmm. it's all dependent on them. Kabir is a self-proclaimed hard ass. He doesn't <laughs> he doesn't give the belt up easy. So that's that's how we do it. So now you know you got that promotion, right? You deserve it. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, Squampton is growing too fast. Oh, sorry, Squamish is growing too fast. We went from 13,000 in 2010 to currently about 19,500. Uh, 19, that is fast. Probably the Olympics. Wasn't that uh, 2010? No, I thought it was housing prices in Vancouver. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> drive for half an so hour. Com- <laughs> combined with, with these powers, combined. Mm-hmm. Actually, we used to go up there quite a bit. Yeah. We used to, uh, we used to in blast our, up there. motorcycle <laughs> days. Yeah. We still still got motorcycles. Yeah, they're just in parts. <laughs> they're just <laughs> all in pieces. Yeah, that's what motorcycles do. They You ride them a while, and then you fix them for, th- for a few years. And, and then, then you, you ride them another yeah. season, and then you fix them for a few years. That's why everyone who has motorcycles has multiple motorcycles. Now I get it. See, I never yeah, understood yeah. why you... You need at least four motorcycles you know, because it takes four years to fix that first one. It's like a cycle. It's a cycle. It's, it's kind of like a lunar eclipse or something. It's something to that effect. Yeah. I don't really know how those two coincide, but it's I'm with occasional. you. I'm with you on you know, that. I'm with motorcycle you on that. circles around. Oh, well, West Coast Tyrant says they got three breweries now and a uh, full-on distillery and two legal grow-ups. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more than two grow ups in Squamish. Yes. <laughs> if you don't see it. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, shit. That, that thing's battery's dying over there. 
No, this cable. No, this one. Does that one reach to it? You got it? All right. Maybe other I, other side, know. yeah. There you go. Maybe untangle it there. We're doing some backup doing some... battery plugins here. There we oh. go. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, it's got a twist in it. It's got a twist it's got in a it. It's got a twist right in here, it, babe. Monica. Huh? The right power cable's got there a twist go. in it. There you go. If not, reposition the camera. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Just right That's there. Perfect. Best. How's that look? Let's get a Malcolm good. shot there. Woo! What is going on? Wow! This 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 is getting kicked off real hot. It's just real hot. Buttons. Technical. We're almost getting too many cameras. Too much stuff. I gotta need. We're gonna need professional everything. Yeah. We need a cameraman. Everybody, come on down. Oh yeah. You now we're talking about belt systems. Yeah, well, Ryan says next stop, red belt. Whoa! Yeah, buddy. Red belt. Mm -mm. Oh, what do you get back when you were? Oh, he said he said in Taekwondo. He, he got his red belt. You badass, bro. Uh, da, 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 breweries. He's a beast. Yeah, he is. House is selling roughly about 800k up there. I'd imagine so. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty. Um, um, the wife's friend. Uh, she sold her townhouse up in uh, his three bedroom townhouse in Squampton. Uh, Squampton. Squampton, yep. Uh, she sold it for four something before she uh, went uh, back east. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that was about two yeah. year ago, two years. Two years ago, yeah. Okay. And now it's uh, and now she said that the another unit, the same one in in her complex, is selling for six fifty. For that so went up two hundred thousand in two years. So. Not bad. In bed, How's man. anyone going to live in this city, huh? I mean, in the lower mainland in general, can't even move out to Chilliwack to get no. away from the prices anymore. And no one wants to move there. No, it's, it's like no one wants to go there, but it still costs a fortune. What are going on here? Do, 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 do. More Malcolm. No audio and it moving for some reason. Yep. Yep. It's creeping. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, we don't we don't have a microphone on the audience, so if the audience wants to talk, they got to talk real loud. What does he do today? Oop. Droop, droop. Ah! <laughs> ah! There we go. Ah, Monica. Having to switch to her cam. <laughs> I did this. This right behind us. This, this uh, beautiful workbench. I built this today. I put the sink in, ran some water lines. Uh, yeah. It's getting close, guys. It's getting close. See that one there? It's got a, a red tag on it because it's hot water. And that one's got no tag on it because it's cold. Running hot and cold water. Where's the one that uh, pipes up I, the beer I, upstairs? I'm, I'm impressed with myself. If that's yeah. this one here, this big white one behind us. Okay. That one brings that one just shoots the beer right upstairs into the living room. Yeah. So just beside the couch, you just... Perfect. Mm. Hopefully chilled. Well, of course, has okay. to be. I mean, what are we barbarians? <laughs> what are we barbarians? Uh huh. They're turning into real Doc Brown lab up there. Yeah, up and running in no time. Give me a month, hopefully. I think a month. Yeah. What do you What do you really got? Oh, Sangre, thanks for the pat on the back. What are you working on next for the brewery? What's your next step? My next step is uh, finish the water lines and the gas. Um, and finish all of the fancy, uh, the freaking pallet, uh, reclaimed wood paneling up here okay. to the top. You can't see it. It's out of shot. <laughs> Way up there. You must be rich to have running water. <laughs> mm -hmm. We stole it from the neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't noticed yet. We just got put on the meters. So 1.21 gigawatts of beer. 
uh, you know, I like stouts. Like, a lot of people, at least when we were younger, they were all, you know, like, oh, Guinness, it's so heavy, it's so tough to drink, you know? Like, uh, and even myself, it was like, whoa, he's drinking a Guinness. Yeah. Oh, my God. But uh, I guess now that I've, like, gotten more into IPAs and stuff, things with a very sharp, stronger flavor, that the Guinness is, like, a more... Mild. Mild, even. <laughs> it's the like mild it's, version. It's, of like, it. smooth. It, yeah, it's thick. But I think that's from the uh, the nitrogen they use to carbonate it. Instead of instead of the natural CO2, they um, use uh, they saturate it with nitrogen, and nitrogen is a much much smaller molecule than than actually an, an atom than um, than CO2, right? And so the bubbles are well, that might not have anything to do with the bubbles, but that's what I've always assumed. Mm -hmm. Assumption. Anyway, mother of all yeah but the bubbles are smaller and that makes it frothier right and makes it feel thicker in your mouth oh, okay. right but yeah and like i guess the 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 malt is so heavily roasted so it makes it so dark brown mm -hmm. right that's a probably breaks down a lot of the sugars and uh caramelizes the malt and i guess and, that, that caramel is yeah. that where it makes that coffee kind of kind of a flavor? coffee yeah, flavor to yeah, it right because it's, really... it's so heavily roasted mm -hmm. yeah it's a good beer. No, I always like uh, Guinness. You know, get a four pack of those or whatever. Have yeah, them in the fridge yeah. for special occasion, like Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, like uh, it was. You're you're right. It kind of was that crazy beer. Oh, it's like you're drinking a Guinness. Now it's like okay, unless you got some crazy IPA where your face turns funny, then uh, you know you're not you're not stepping out of line. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, West Coast Tyrant asks. So, what do you what are your thoughts on the nine beers that won the world's uh, 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 that this year that won the World Beer Cup? Nine. I thought it was a lot more than there was a a winner a winner. And I was looking at the uh, the list, and I was I was just trying to poke through for Canadian beers that won. Yeah. And there was two or three, but the list, whoo, on and on and on. What what do you? Can you clear it up? Can you maybe send us a link to those nine beers? I don't know if I've tried any of them, so I couldn't yeah. couldn't say. Post up, man. We'll but check uh, it yeah, out if you can fire that up, maybe take a look at that. Or send them to PO Box, Paul. PO Box, PO Box, Paul and Brian at Dumb Luck Brewing, and we'll drink them. Yep, we should have a PO Box. Uh, yeah, send us free shit. Just no anthrax. What would be cool? Don't no, we don't want any anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Okay, he sent it to us in a whisper here. Uh, da -da -da. Bringing her up. The Terrace Standard. Wow. Do you have relationships in Terrace? <laughs> Do, do, do. Uh, 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 uh. do you guys ever do those advent calendars when they come out? I did it once, and like half the beers were terrible. Oh, um, it wasn't. I wasn't too impressed with that. Be back on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're back on. We're on. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. This did, is a screen, though, right? This. Hmm? Yeah. This is what's broadcasting right. now. Yeah. We're on the central cam. All right. Oh, these are all the nine beers from Canada. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I was picking through, looking for them. Oh, we got Steamworks yeah. in there. Yep. Four Winds Brewing. Actually, that's uh, right Three, down Four Winds just Delta. down the street. Yep. Yeah, Silver Juxtapose. I haven't had that beer yet. Uh, Juxtapose. Do you want to fire this list up or is it oh. Oh, do you want? Oh, do we want to do that? Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, at so the, we can look at it together. There we go. Oh, you're such a smart guy, uh, you buddy. Know, people might want to. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Here we go. Yo, there you can't even see it when they're. Uh, you want to look at my faucet? <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> settle down there. <laughs> it's just a, it's a weird formatting, so you can't. Yeah. You can't. Uh, oh, you know what we can do? Just do a full screen. Yeah, you know, we'll just do this full screen, and then we'll just go like this. Now we're on the other side. All right. So we can't see your chat right now, but we're going to just talk our faces up. 
Old Jalopy Pale Ale, Power of Brewing. I actually had one of those very recently. Uh, I didn't find it to be anything special. Which one? At all. Power old Roll. Jalopy. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was good. I was, uh, Ravens Brewing. I have never even heard of Ravens Brewing. Riot Brewing. Shamanus. Have you heard of Riot Brewing? Holy man! Uh, is it just like this? Like these guys are uh, trying to get make a name for themselves as so they're throwing their beers at these competitions? I guess. Thirty three acres. I have heard of them, but I haven't had anything from them yet. Uh, Four Winds Brewing. Juxtapose. I've had Four Winds several times, but Juxtapose, I have not. Cold Harbor Brewing. Smoke and Mirrors Imperial Imperial Smoked Ale. It's a pretty good name, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. But I have not had that beer either. You know, if we're going to be beer aficionados, Brian, we'd better get on it. Well, I didn't say I was going to be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just going to be be it. Uh, Steamworks Scarlet. I have had lots of Steamworks. And what are these beers? What are those? What? Black Tusk Ale from Whistler Brewing. So we're going to have to I've been drinking a whole lot of Whistler Brewing, but I haven't had Black Tusk. Oh, I want I want this on camera. There we go. <laughs> well, I think we found the star of the show. The star of the show. <laughs> I think we just found that icon that you put oh, on, on your YouTube links, right? What's that? You're, when you click the YouTube. And oh, yeah, the, get that thumbnail action. Thumbnail. Yeah. yeah, you got to tilt the camera up a little bit because it's just looking at your clavage. All right. Uh, more bride titty shots. Who's saying that? Uh, guess. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Listen here, yellow yep. belt. <laughs> yeah. Um. Clearly, we're lacking in our uh, beer culturalization. I know. Like I said, I've been drinking this one. Like, yeah, you know, for yep, yep. it's it's 15, always nice to have a good old standby. You yeah, know? Well, you get you fifteen get rid pack of those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I enjoy my beer. Trying most of the time, I actually try different things. Was uh, is when I go out. So trying mm -hmm. different. Uh, you know pubs and whatever i happened to try a new beer today actually holy shit and it was pretty good yeah, yeah. and controversial at the same time what controversy <laughs> well well this place called that just opened up recently in uh in vancouver it's on main street i believe it is fraser street mm -hmm. and it's called escobar oh now, if you haven't heard about this, basically, this is going up in the media and local news mm -hmm. where everyone's in outrage and people are protesting outside this brand new restaurant. I think it opened up Friday. Was it Friday? Yesterday. Was it yesterday? Because maybe, maybe last week. Because it's know. named after a drug dealer. It's Pablo. Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a common last name. Exactly. I guess, you know, sure. Mm -hmm. So basically, I guess they had like protesters and stuff outside uh, claiming, you know, Hey, you don't it's insensitive, and blah, 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 blah. Mm. You know, maybe everyone, everyone has a different opinion on it. But anyways, I did uh, try a, a beer. It was called the uh, uh, Pablo. Um, I don't know. It's called the Escobar. Because it's not Pablo. It doesn't say Pablo. No, no. Anyway, it's it's just, just, Escobar. just Escobar. Escobar. Of course, that's what you think, right? Mm -hmm. but, of course, uh, <laughs> it's like, you mean, like, what, like three or four like Escobar movies have come out in yeah. the last little while. And then there's the, the whole TV series. Um, freaking narcos. 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 Yeah, true. Got it. True. Got. True. Got it, man. I was trying to be so smooth there with the camera transitions, <laughs> yeah. and I stumbled all over it. Sorry, Brian. That's Continue. Okay. No, es Escobar beer. Uh, yeah. So it was a it was a blonde a blonde ale, and it's actually uh yeah really good. It's a pretty cool place. Yeah. Uh, it's fancy fancy uh food. You yeah. know, high end stuff. Different Ooh. different stuff. A lot of flowers on it. You get to eat flowers and stuff. So, you know, nice. Felt like a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> so did, did do they have a microbrew or was this did someone else brewing for them? I didn't get to, too much into that, but it kind of you know they had like a brewing setup and stuff. So I don't know if they just have a certain beer they call it, but 
Hey, they had cake. a setup. Well, they uh, I guess they have like kegs and stuff in the back, so oh, it kind okay. of had that uh, brewery feel to it. Mm. Was it good? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? what? No, we're all good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was in the news. Actually, I just heard about it recently about the protests or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was on like global news and stuff like that. And um, yeah, like you said, what's the first thing you think when you think about Escobar? You think about everything that's been on TV. You think about you know drug cartel. You know, uh, and um, Colombia, think about Colombia, yeah, which yeah. Uh, basically the food is kind of based out there, like the Central America, just Latin America, Latin America kind of cuisine in a place, right? Mm -hmm. Now, where people are getting mad saying it's all insensitive, what do you think? Just having a name, and Escobar, Escobar, yeah. I don't think that's worth protesting, do you? No, I don't think no. there's a lot of crap that's not worth protesting, yeah. Yeah. Right? and people just would. I'm really surprised, like, I, I would totally get there be media buzz and like. Uh, a little bit of like controversy, you know, everyone's like got their blogger shit all up in their ass, you know, and like, oh my God, I got this, uh, yeah. this restaurant in the neighborhood and it's, it's, it's glorifying Pablo Escobar, right? And like, I could see that, but I couldn't actually imagine like people picketing, like with signs. Yeah, actually, that's not picketing. It's picketing if you're in a union. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just you're being uh, annoying protests. You're, you're a protester. That's right. You're being a protester. I don't even know if there's probably yeah, there's probably yeah. an image out there. I don't know if you want to search for it, whatever. Oh, oh yeah, you could, could probably do that. People outside yeah. with their signs. Oh, West Coast Tyrant says you actually went there. You're asking. Whoop. You're asking to get a picket sign up your arse, <laughs> hanging out there. <laughs> <laughs> they could save it and just change the name to. Escargobar. 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 They didn't have any escargo though. So. No, no escargo. That's not a. Uh, that's not a uh, South American type of uh, cuisine. Oh, I think... Did we fix it? There might have not been any audio yeah. on you at all. Okay. Exactly. Again, please. First, just like just so give, the audience... I'd like to give a special shout-out to Sangre Vampira. Uh, <laughs> I'm very close to her. Yeah. Uh, she's a very nice person. Just with a little bit of a controversial name, right? Just That's, the name. Yeah. But also, Sangre is like, thank you for the shout out. Yes. For the camera view there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hiding? She's looking at something. Uh, uh oh. I'm looking at myself. Okay, we thought you went to sleep there for a second. <laughs> no, no, I'm not there yet. Oh, snap. Monica don't need no glass nor no mic. That's right. Yep. <laughs> it does look like all the <laughs> Oh hell no. Basically yeah, it came down to it by the name, it's like ah people get mm -hmm. upset about too many things. They do. And from what I got from the people, it was more uh they like uh Esco Bar, it's kind of a play on words. Yeah. They're probably yeah. protesting. Just because it's fun to protest something. Like, oh, we got some shit we can get mad about. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Saturday nights at Dumb Luck Brewing. Absolutely. Sangre, I can't wait to have you on the show too. Be awesome. The two of you guys playing off each other in the audience. Oh, oh my no. God. We totally do need to get her a desk. Because the, the, in the, on the um, Howard Stern show, I think it's their... Um, their producer that's the gal that's talking behind the desk thing yeah so you could be the producer changing the the cameras picking the camera angles and stuff like that and then we don't have to do it we can just be personalities 
Yeah, we just gotta time. get one first. We just gotta <laughs> give you this keyboard here and then here, here, produce. Oh hell yeah, y'all. Maybe next month. <laughs> next month. Next month. All right. What else are we talking about? Well, we're talking about we're, some jujitsu jiu stuff. Jiu -jitsu but, stuff uh, yeah. What about some fight stuff? Uh, fight stuff. Fight stuff. Yeah, uh, Bellator just had an event. Another event, which was which, which just happened today. Saturday, just I so. think today. Yeah, yeah. Lioto the Dragon Machita versus. Uh, Vitor Belfort. Don't duck me, bro. Don't duck me. Why everybody duck me, bro? Why everyone duck me, bro? Well, he didn't duck, and uh, yeah, he, he didn't duck, ducked. and he shouldn't. Spoiler alert: He got an ass kick. Second round, uh, actually, he got his face kick. If I if I'm honest, if I'm if I'm fair about that, yeah, Leoto, classic karate front snap kick right to the chin. No. And uh, the ref was on him going like, you dead, bro. You dead. Check and pulse immediately. Oh, thank you for following. No, I didn't even see this, uh, mm -hmm. the show, because I was out, you know, in controversy land. You're but, out in controversy <laughs> land. But yeah. um, was there a few more cards? We don't, we don't have anything for uh, what the, who's on the card there, eh? Mm. There can be. There can be. We, we can do this. <laughs> like I said, a lot of Bellator... Uh, is that on? Do you have to stream online for that stuff to watch Bellator fights? Um, Bellator has all kinds of different ways to get at your stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> oh, there we go. I think this was the, not the one. This is the the upcoming. Next one, or what? Yeah, this is. That's May twelfth. What did he? Oh, today is May twelfth. This is the right one. Must be it. Must be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hell? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Just trying to find the fight card on Bellator. Oh snip! <laughs> We just, we lost it. We lost everything. Oh, shit. That was uh, UFC 224. I am way off base. See that what kind of a UFC? fight that was a UFC. Oh. Absolutely was. I don't know why I read that it was... Bellator. Yeah, you said Bellator, and I thought uh, I actually Machida might have got signed with them. I thought that would make sense. It's kind of Apparently, off. it's UFC. What? UFC two two four. Yep, Nunez versus Pennington. Oh, that makes sense now. Yeah, they wouldn't have two because um, I, I remember the yeah, Nunez yeah. versus Pennington card, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is one which I knew with the UFC, and that's what's actually kind of weird that Bellator would be having the same event on the same day. But they are having an event on the same day. They, they actually are. They actually were. Yeah, it's May, right? May twelfth. It's May twelfth. Yeah, same there day. We go. What do you know, bro? Story checks out, bro. What do you know, bro? But uh, yeah, I haven't seen this card at all, especially the UFC. No. So. Oh. I, I just saw little clips on the uh, the Twitter twats, and I was real kind of kind of excited. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. You know, I want to better jump on that, check that out. But I was too busy running plumbing and stuff. So the fuck, man. There we go. Yes, absolutely. Monica and Sangrate would be hilarious. Mm -hmm. <sighs> drink, drink and talk. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So than that, what do you have uh, else um, going on here? Yeah, nope, just uh, the uh, yeah, we were talking about that uh, BJJ business with the belts, right, and the promotions. Yeah. Um, and it got me thinking back to what we were talking about before with um, belts and chasing belts, or um, and, you know, and what that can be, you know. Like, if you're just, like, in it, trying to, like, meet the credentials, move up to the next belt, and then, like, chasing that next belt, chasing yeah. that next belt, chasing that next belt. I don't know. I was reflecting on that, and, and it's something that I did a lot back when I was uh, in Taekwondo and Sun Hang Do. Is that, like, do you think that's because, like, 
you get belts more often in like you know karate and taekwondo and and those type of uh, martial arts where it's kind of like a very mm. scheduled yeah I can't I can't say for karate but in taekwondo definitely like they have a belt testing every month and if you can fulfill all the criteria for that next belt which are all like learn this move learn this kata right yeah. learn this technique do these board breaks right. Mm -hmm. you can fulfill all those you can move up mm -hmm. and so many people do but in that process you lose everything else it's like it was like for me going to school and like cramming for that next exam cramming for that next exam cramming for the next exam my cumulative knowledge sucked ass right it took me so long as a black belt to learn all of those old patterns and techniques over again so that I could teach them to people. Yeah. Right? I had to keep relearning these basic techniques and stuff because all I was doing was just cramming my head full of the next thing, the mm. next thing. And, I, and in the process of chasing the belts, yeah, I made black belt really quick in Taekwondo. But my skill wasn't nearly as good as it could be mm -hmm. right I, I was lucky that i that I, a little bit i'm a little bit gifted when it comes to that kind of stuff like it kind of comes to me fairly easily and there's lots of guys way better learns way faster than me but but i do have a little bit of an ability there so right. that that helped me right just to like kind of skirt through right but i was working hard i was training a lot but i wasn't training for the right reasons or with the right mindset I wasn't training for the martial art. I was training just for the belts. So basically just I just like wanted to cram it for the so test. Bad. Exactly. Yeah. Cram it for the test. Right? You gotta get yeah. your that degree. You gotta get that exactly. piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, get, get that paper, man. I got you know, I should go get it and bring it down. Hold it. Mm, look at my trophy. <laughs> my big certification. It's like uh it's like Mr. Miyagi said. In Okinawa. Belt just mean no need rope to hold up pants. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of karate kid, <laughs> <laughs> you've been watching Cobra Kai. I haven't, haven't yet. What? I know. Oh, it's on my uh, our, our friend on there is saying you better watch it. So, mm. which is on Red Tube. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you would have thought. I, I never put that together. <laughs> you would have thought somebody would have said that joke by now. Joe, I'm sure if you go to Red Tube and search for Karate Kid, there's probably probably some pornography about Cobra that. Kai. <laughs> so what's it actually on? Yeah. It's it's on YouTube Red. YouTube Red. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, or on any it. various. Are you telling me YouTube didn't do a quick search and go, let's put these two words together and see what happens? Well, I mean, their logo is red, and I guess they figured that that was good enough. <laughs> So oh. basically, red tube is where you gotta pay for shit, right? I cramp it, I'm cramping up. Mm -hmm. and that, uh, yeah, that's like their subscription service. So you get on there, you can and uh, uh, pay the money and see their like premium content. Mm -hmm. So they got like YouTubers doing uh, like they get sponsored and they make like a series of higher production value shows mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I don't know if it's taken off or not but i mean so basically they're doing yeah. kind of like the net yeah. netflix thing right yeah exactly but then they like hire real actors and pay a uh, production crew to make a full-on show cobra kai right yeah. like what i thought that you're taking the u out of youtube like this is just tube now this is yeah. like tv yeah. Right? It's like any other... It's, it's Netflix. And yeah. now, like, you see also, like, Amazon uh, video and stuff like that. They yeah. see their... I don't know if they're coming up with their own shows. Oh, yeah. They got lots of their own shows. They're like, pretty good, too. Like, their own brands. Yeah, yeah. Shows. Amazon Prime TV... Or Amazon Prime Video. Yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've been watching old seasons of Roseanne. Remember that show from the 90s? <laughs> the original. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because they got that new one out now. Exactly. Uh, you're trying to catch up. So yeah. You I'm can, trying to go through. Yeah. Go through the, it the all. The old days. The old... It's, Roll it on back. You you love the '90s shows. They're you two great. watch Cops like oh my all favorite the show time. is Cops. It's, it's a great show. Just throw on you know mm -hmm. whatever. Cooking dinner. You need to watch mm -hmm. a quick show. Yeah, twenty minutes. You're done. I, I normally. Are you a big fan I'm, of uh, Cops? I like Cops. 
<laughs> I, I like I like I like it, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then yeah, well, any any of those cop shows are entertaining. Yeah. And then when you start watching those new uh, shows like Lock Up, mm-hmm. where you deal with people in locked prison, up. isn't it Locked Up? Lock Up, Lock it's Up, Locked up. Locked Up. I think it's Lock Up. I think there's two. One's Lock Up. One's Locked Up. There's so many. There's whatever. There's one about prison, the, the, the there's, federal uh, federal prison system, uh, yeah. See, State prison. There's uh, county, uh, jail. county jail. There's uh, behind. Uh, Jesus, you guys are aficionados of this stuff. Yeah, there's tons of them. Beautiful. Sangre agrees. She likes them too. Me too. Uh, uh, they just got renewed for season two. Which one got season two? Cobra uh, Kai. Cobra Kai. I think so. Uh, I'm not sure. Mm mm mm. Oh, Brian, I can hook you up with a link. Epic's like, I can hook you up, bro. Yeah, we got. I can we hook got. you up. I can hook you up with a link, bro. And Epic Quest, do you feel you had any uh, had any of the muscle memory there, or did it feel like it was grinding gears when you went back to older stuff? No, there's definitely muscle muscle memory there. Like drilled, I drilled that shit so hard that yeah. there there was like. The, their basic technique and stuff, but it was just like remembering the patterns and stuff like that that made it, I found to be quite difficult. But there's a big difference between like memorizing patterns and learning a technique, mm-hmm. right? Because there's a lot of guys that look so good, like they got these drills. And I remember when I started jujitsu, I'm watching them like <laughs> going through these motions and throwing these drills down. It's like, whoa. Like, that's some slick movement, right? Looks yeah. really good. And then, like, later rolling with them and I'm being surprised that they're not just throwing it on me, like, you know, like, mm-hmm. what, well, yeah. doesn't work like that? Yeah. You mean you could be so good at the technique, but you not, don't know how to set the technique up? Not so were we, for nothing. Were we saying those, uh, those people were more kind of like the old school, you know, Taekwondo, where just learning, learning the move, learning the technique, but actually not being able to apply it live? Yeah. So do you find that with uh, they're kind of similar jujitsu and you know old school um, taekwondo that they're kind of similar, but just learning the technique, or do you find that it's not as common in jujitsu? Oh, with being able to um, do do the move properly. I think that people in taekwondo get away without doing the move properly a lot more often. Yeah. Like it happens way more often in Taekwondo. A lot of it, like, and Sun Hangdo as well. Like, oh, they got the basic motion down. Right? And they're coming in and they're like, you know, oh, the hand's in the right spot and it's getting there. Right? Yeah. But it does, it's, it's like, it's supposed to be snap and then snap. Snap. You know, it's like, that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Right, but uh, they get the pass anyways, right? and so then they stick to that. Right, mm-hmm. but at the same time in Taekwondo, ninety percent of what you're learning, and, and the same thing with the what I what I feel. I know in Taekwondo because I've done a lot of it, but I feel in a lot of martial arts is a lot of the drills and the uh, patterns that you learn. They have very little to do with the fighting and just a lot to do with just teaching your body balance and technique mm-hmm. right but putting it together into fighting is totally different there's no way in hell if i was fighting you or anybody else that i would be going hoo, hoo, you know it's not gonna happen yeah never ever in a million years you're, you're gonna be you know, keeping your jokes up. You know, you keep it tight, or you'll just lean into it and take a rattle off the side of your head. Because making a motion like this, you serious? You're gonna get clocked. Yeah. KO time, right? But it it's important to learn how to do the snapping motion to rotate your wrist. Like if I'm gonna from here block, boom, at least I can do that. You know, I know how to do this yeah but in the the pattern you're doing it from a big wide open motion oh you know yeah 
different people learn different ways. And also, it's not just about punching people in the face. You know, it's about the the flow, the discipline. It's like doing uh, Tai Chi, you know? It's a way of meditating. At least it should be. But like I said before, chasing belts. I'm not thinking about any of that. I'm not thinking about any of the martial aspects. I'm just, I want my belt. I want that next belt. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that uh, you do yourself a disservice if you don't spend time and learn uh, about what you're doing and bring it through in a complete, uh, a, a complete cohesive package. I don't know. Have you run into much frustration with like kind of belt chasing yourself? Um, not not really. I, I think I always kind of went into jujitsu just going as in, mm -hmm. okay, well I'm going to do this. Um, when promotions come, they, they come. And I kind of stuck with that for quite a while. I mean, sometimes, you know, if you have a card system or whatever, what shows, you know, how many, you know, classes you've done to mm -hmm. kind of keep track of how much, how much you've progressed that way. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, and then getting the belt. Sometimes when you get close, you're like, oh, when am I going to get it? Just oh, so get like, that oh. belt. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, if you really, it is kind of a slight reward to yourself and, sh and, it, sh and it proves uh, your progression to yourself as well. Okay. You know, I did, I did make it through this. Technically, I did deserve it. You, know, you should know a certain amount of skills and moves to move yourself up. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of gauge yourself with your other uh, 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 counterparts on the mat as well. But, um, yeah, no, when you really go into it and just say, uh, I'm just here. Uh, if the belts come, the belts come. It, it's all, yeah. it's it's not belts. It's the whole journey, right, mm -hmm. which you're kind of looking far at. It's basically, that's why I feel it turns into a lifestyle. You know what I mean? It's just like, okay training doing jujitsu uh that's that's just the life you know keep going progress because everyone wants to get better mm. with belts that just comes with keeping going to class and getting better so that's all it is really yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's like it doesn't really matter what's what belt you have as it doesn't really have any bearing on what you've learned and what you're learning yeah proof is on there yeah, that's, yeah, that's I guess, true. Yeah, 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 which is good. Like you know, everyone says for you know, like like you said with uh, knowing people in, in certain martial arts where they never really tested it in a live scenario mm. and stuff like that. Which everyone says you got you got to practice live. Like that's the only way you're mm -hmm. actually gonna practice techniques. Which yeah. we on a previous show is when we talked about like the the martial or the self defense courses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They all look good. Well, some of them don't look good. <laughs> they just look absolutely terrible yeah, yeah. Uh, with their techniques. With and some kind of beautiful production. Yeah, yeah. great production value. Mm. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're a, what was it, a fitness trainer that's, that's yeah. teaching the techniques? Oh, so, the, the one in the, uh, in the, the building? By skyscraper yeah. with the big windows and the beautiful production. Yeah, was that our third episode, yeah. I think? Oh, uh, something <laughs> like that. And it's like, the front choke. Front choke. Grab Turn and away. pull down. Throw the knee, step out. Well, it's taking throwing yeah. the knee at like two feet out. Though. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, miles away. But um, yeah, like you have to try do it with live training. Yeah, it's. I think people got scared of live training. Like, oh, I don't want to punch in the face. I don't want to spar. I don't want to like, oh, you know, it's scary, right? It's a real turn off and as a business that's not good to have mm. liability and junk like that right yeah but I, and i've always 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 said this to people like and they, they say this to me and i'm afraid of that or whatever right but you don't just get punched in the face it's a progression you know just like anything else you're doing in the martial art the sparring the rolling the whatever you want to call it the live training is just another drill, but it's the drill where you take everything you've learned and you put it together, mm -hmm. right? You have somebody resisting, someone pushing against you, somebody giving their all to not be got, you know? Yeah. So it's like, it, it, if you can't do it, then you will not be able to do it against a drunk drug addict. That's all high on pcp flying at you with all this craziness you know like, well if it's worst case pcp just just run away <laughs> worst case scenario but i mean like you know what i mean it's so like a baby it's a baby a, step a regular trip on the sky train just a day on the sky train okay. yeah 
Oh, West Coast Tyrant says that uh, that they wanted to learn Wing Chun not for self defense but just for the structure and flow. Yeah, this got a lot of really beautiful movements to it. And there is a lot of structure to it. Uh, I haven't done much kung fu in my past, but I I did train for a little bit, kinda. I had a had a buddy at BCIT who did Wing Chun, and uh, we would trade classes. I'd teach him some Taekwondo. He'd teach me some Wing Chun moves, and it was good. He, he, there was some flower techniques they had. It was like opening the petals. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, eh, whatever is interesting, you know? It's it's martial arts. It's a mindset, right? Well, it wasn't more of like a, a medi like you said, a meditation. Yeah. Kind of for, for calming yourself and basically doing by yourself. Centering and, yourself, yeah. getting, you know, getting your shit in line. And Epic Quest says, this reminds me of the self-defense class scene in Bruno for some reason. Bruno. Bruno. I don't even know if I watched that movie. That was a few years back, right? I don't remember. I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm drawing a blank, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, I guess it wasn't good. I, well, I probably maybe it was, but it wasn't. It didn't ring with me quite like. Uh, no, I meant the like, technique did. Uh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. More and more, as I get older and get exposed to more, I get more and more disenchanted with self-defense. Like, it doesn't do anything. Like women's self-defense. What's the difference between women's self-defense and men's self-defense? The, it's the, the same, same shit. Yeah. Uh, the situation might be different, but you also teach situational awareness. So any situation, you should be uh, prepping the same way, looking for people who are uh, looking to be dangerous. Uh, like, oh, I'm going to stay away from those drunk uh, frat boys. Give them their room, you know, whatever. And that table full of lit up cougars over there i'm just gonna stay right over here where they're not gonna bug me you know it's like watch out for cougars it's like those cougars man fucking deadly creatures up in the bc wilderness well, that's what we're, talking. we're talking about okay oh yeah i thought you meant like over 40 yeah i did capable women yep yeah i did do they attack with claws as well <laughs> yeah, i'm certain they would okay you deny my advances how dare you? <laughs> I'm 40 and lo losing my attractiveness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tai Chi is a simpler version of Wing Chun. Situation and upper body strength differences. Situation and upper body strength differences. Oh, am I missing two? part of it? Uh, Wing Chun is beautiful and my absolute favorite. That's Sangre. She also adds, there used to be a guy who trained in East Van, forearms thick as construction steel, situation and upper body strength differences. <laughs> and then she face palms on the cougar comment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, the forearm <laughs> strength from Wing Chun, I guess. I don't know. Wing Chun has a lot of upper body stuff. They do most of the stuff comes from the from what they call the center center mm -hmm. line center line punches things like this and then they're they're uh, blocking drills whatnot yes but you do get a lot of forearm strength from doing that kind of stuff like the the grip drills where you're like blocking with stuff like that and they do that kind of when do that the weird stuff i saw what they do that we're like Yes. Punch. Oops. Uh, yep. Hey, you want to watch that video of that guy in Wing Chun getting punched in the face by an MMA fighter? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? I think it's Wing uh, Chun. Uh, Wing maybe. Chun. Here, I'm going to just uh, open up this guy. What is this? Sky Pilot How Sound. Northwest Pale. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, well. Just do a little bit there, a little bit, and rinse it, rinse and taste. There you go. This is how we get classy style here. Well, that's really foamy now. Yep. Why don't you guys talk for a second here? I'm just gonna go over here for a minute. 
over here for a minute. We can have our guest on. No, we have our friend Pablo. Well, I don't know if it's friend. <laughs> we bought Pablo today. <laughs> Look at him. He's so happy to be on the show. Oh, there. Jesus, what is going on? We're going to get some markdowns for this now. Oh. So did you enjoy the food at the place? I did. I did. Which had nothing it. to do with Pablo Escobar. It was no, just nothing called at all. Escobar. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so what did you think of the food there? It was good. Small portions. If you guys ever check it out, you should try the chorizo. Chorizo. It was good. It's basically like a, a spicy sausage, basically. Yeah, spicy What's... sausage. And um, we had ceviche. I like that. Uh, and the drinks were good. They had this, like, I don't know, gin and tonic menu where you can pretty much make your own drink. So you choose the gin you want and then the type of tonic. So, for example, my dad's the only one that had it. It looked really good. He had the Empress gin. Yeah, which I guess is a high-end gin. Yeah, and it's pur purple colored. And then um, and then separately, they bring you the tonic. And so he got the Mediterranean tonic water. And then along with it came like a little plate with different spices. And then you could pretty much make your own gin and tonic. It was really good. Yeah, and they had basically all like little dried spices they actually put right in, inside the drink. Yeah, no, it was pretty cool. Yeah. And it was good as well, I hear. I hear. It was good. Yeah. I like the atmosphere. And uh, yeah, it was nice. It was good. Do you guys have any good restaurant recommendations in the lower mainland? Monica's adorable. I know, Ryan. Thank you. <laughs> 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 and what do we got there? Oh, uh, we got House Sound Brewery. It's a 10 minutes walk from uh, West Coast Titan. Is it Titan? I don't know. Tyrant, sorry. I can't see it from here. It's really West far Coast Tyrant. West Coast Tyrant. It's just 10 minutes away from that brewery. So, Hi. Hi. What's happening? We got we got lots of guests happening here today. So, hey, everyone's dude. coming in. No? Come on. Not Courtney. You can, you can drink a ball of wine like uh, Monica here. I didn't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. I'll let Paul get back to his seat. Oh. <laughs> we have another audience guest. Do are you ready to be on camera? You got your camera face on? The camera face. And there we go. We got a young guest. This is <laughs> this is summer. And it's her birthday Every tomorrow. It's summer's birthday tomorrow? Oh my goodness! Well, happy birthday! Tomorrow. Yeah, she's up late. She just got to go to the Pink concert. Oh, that's why she's wearing the shirt. Oh yeah. Which I was playing at uh, General Motors today, right? Was it? Or, sorry, Rogers Arena. Rogers, Rogers Arena? Arena. Oh, nice. Did you like going downtown? Yeah. yeah. Is it a good show. Perfect. <laughs> West Coast Tyrant says hi, Summer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I saw a bunch of stuff on either Instagram or actually checked my Snapchat. Ooh. And uh, yeah, a lot of people uh, were at uh, that concert, Pink Concert. Yeah. So. What was your favorite part? Do you have a favorite song? What's what? your favorite Pink song? Secrets. 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 Nice. Do you want to sing a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> no! Not at all! Okay, we won't put you on the spot anymore. <laughs> oh, welcome, Simon Slipstream. You finally got to see us live. There we go. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We get some messages here. Oh, it, yeah, it's 1221. Happening. It is your birthday. Ryan McNabb says, happy birthday. There we go. Yay. <laughs> Look at you get to be up so late tonight. <laughs> I tell you. Crazy, crazy! On a live show, live show, live show up on the up on the, on the internet. Um, what else do we got to cover here, Brian? Chasing them belts. We talked about Cobra Kai. Talked about Loyota Machida. Some Wing Victor Chun. Belfort. We talked a bit about Bing, about Wing Chun. I don't know. Down, down the middle, punching. Down the middle, punching. I don't know much about martial arts. I just you know, you've, you've definitely yeah. done a lot more than I have. Yeah. Well, not all that much more. Well, well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit different. Yeah. 
Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. The, uh, You've always been a fair match for me, though. <laughs> you, have just, you have a natural fighting ability, so like, it's definitely um, really cool to see you start channeling it into like one a direction. more focused one direction. Like the song. Like the song? The band? The band. The band? Yeah. You're not a true fan. You're not a true directioner. No. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. We've got loud audience members. They're getting rowdy over yeah. there. Oh my god! We got a real live uh, live audience in here. Are you streaming live on the interwebs? <laughs> but uh, actually, uh, recently we started doing some um, uh, no gi uh, classes at mm -hmm. jiu jitsu. So, mm -hmm. where no gi is basically you're not wearing the kimono, you know, mm -hmm. not wearing the pajamas, basically, right? Yeah, yeah. So, basically, you're just wearing like rash guards. And uh, yeah, you really notice the difference, like going from that and then uh, from gi to no gi, mm -hmm. and just how different it is, what techniques you have to do, what works better. You have to change your game around how you're holding on to people and grappling people. So it's quite a, a different step. Like I know you've done a, a bit of it as well. Mm -hmm. Like anything you notice, like just going from kimono, wearing the gi all the time, yeah. to straight into uh, no into gi. No gi, yeah. It is. It's like a whole other ball game, like because you suddenly lose every ability, not every ability, but most abilities to pull, to like grab and pull. If that camera is being real, real uh, crappy, and um, without that, it takes it takes away so much of the um, control the, the control moves that you would normally have, right, and. I also find that no gi is way faster. Like yeah. so many more scrambles because of that. Because the only time you can pull is when you grab someone like under the tricep. Yeah. Or the back of the head. Yeah. Otherwise, overhooks, underhooks. Yeah. Because uh, you're so used to being able to like grab the gi, grab a lapel. I'm gonna just keep you down like this, right? Yeah. But like this, all you have to do is whoop, roll move your head and you move out, right? And then especially like, when, scrum, you, scrum, when scrum. you start uh, sweating yeah. a bit too, because yeah. then you're just like. Whoosh. That's when the underhooks become like crazy important because the best pulling grip you can possibly get is from going underneath, right? And oh, it's it's a whole different ball game, yeah. and it's really fast and exciting. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we shut her down again. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for the follow, Slipstream. You the man, cool guy. You're the man. Yes, we we rather not give the eleven year old the shots. We'll give them to you, Sangre. <laughs> that sounds like a perfectly good plan. We have an open door policy here, Ed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to brewing. go through the uh, the I want to see a mature show gate on the internet. But if you're here live, you can be any age and just walk right on yeah. and start watching. <laughs> 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 Nogi Bear, maybe? Oh, West Coast got puns. He got the puns. Nogi Bear. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, uh, Sangre, are you saying what as into uh, what I was saying about the shots or about yeah, uh, the be more Nogi specific. Bear? Well, it's just the delay, I tell ya. <laughs> you guys should make out and get, o get it over with. Oh, man, we... We just get sweaty and roll around. Yeah. That's that's how we bond. <laughs> Second that you guys must be musicians. Yeah. They're definitely a bit gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Anyway, yeah, Nogi so you've been you've had a few experiences now with no gi classes right yeah it's like yeah. all of a sudden you you know you kind of have your regular moves that you stick to and whatever with your mm -hmm. grips and and whatever else you know certain chokes and whatever but all of a sudden that that kind of goes out the window and you have to come up with new new way to do things right yeah so it's definitely a, a i mean it's definitely a fun step because it's like i always say it's like okay gi is like uh, you know wrestling uh, you know grappling someone with a winter jacket no gi is basically fighting yeah. someone at the beach Right. <laughs> so, so that's right. Just to speed you gotta, up, you gotta get both scenarios down. That's right. You, that's you know, right. You know your chokes are. Uh, if you get jumped at the beach, you better know how to handle. That's right. Beach fighting. Get those underhooks. Yeah, yeah. 
Big time. But uh, yeah, I definitely noticed like a lot of people getting triangles on me and stuff like that, and being able to you know mm. uh, tap me out a few times with those, just because everything's a little different. So yeah, you can't you can't smother people the same kind of the same kind of way. You have to apply pressure differently. You got to be ready to move quicker. Yeah. Like it's much more high strung, high you know high spring movement. I think <laughs> it's a bit more of an equalizer. Because as you become more senior, you, at least I tend to feel like I know where I need to anchor my hands a lot more. Like if I can just hang on to the sleeve and this collar here, yeah. I can just pin you down real nice and easy. I can take a break. You can't do squat. No problem, right? Oh, I'm going to work around and try to get you back. I'm just going to reach over here, grab a chunk of your gi and just sort of pull right and yeah. half the time like uh, I, i've started to do that because i noticed that it's been done to me so much like i can't turn out of this why what's yeah, happening yeah. i don't even know what's happening you know and then you realize it's because someone has a grip on the back of your gi like this right mm. where with the no gi you can't grab any of the fabric and it, all it takes is a little explosive action and boom you can get out of just about anybody's grips yeah it doesn't matter what it is it's almost like, like you can there's less yeah. forgiveness like uh yeah. for making a mistake because people can slip yeah. out of things super yeah easy. you can't just anchor somebody down it's, yeah. it's near to impossible you have to actually apply the technique flawlessly yeah and there's no room for error so it's it's oh, i think it'll definitely of, open up like uh, how, to, how to do techniques proper too because it makes yeah. you get sharper at them so I think once you can uh, complete them with no gi, I think it'll make it easy for uh, adding it to gi as well. <laughs> Sangre heard her name, but nothing else. The, uh, what was the comment? It was what? Yeah. She had, that, she had a question. Oh, about I said, something. it said, we'd give you the shots instead of the 11 year old. No problem. Because you said, give me shots. So I said, you know, give me shots. There we go. <laughs> Ah, West Coast went to a karaoke bar and he didn't have any 70s music. At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. Ugh! Ah! <laughs> the Replacements. Do you like that movie with Keanu Reeves? <laughs> the Replacements had Keanu Reeves? Yeah. Which, which, hold on, what am I thinking of? That's the football one. The football Falco. one. Falco. Falco. Yes. You never watched yeah. that movie? No, I did. I but I'm I'm struggling to remember it because. But basically, they would sing yeah. that. Uh, uh, who, who sings that? That's. Bee Gees. No, Petrified. Oh, no. Uh, what the heck? Come on, help us out here. What's what's her name? What's her Fleetwood name? Fleetwood Mac. No. No. Art. Black no. Lady. <laughs> Aretha Franklin. There we go. Right. Maybe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll get told. Yeah, someone will tell us. But we're... they didn't play that throughout that movie. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Look at this guy. He's got this like memory that locks in like every little bit of data. Sounds and clips of my life. The view, you know, movies, TV shows. No, you... been... Oops, sorry. And I've also been watching a lot of Keanu Reeves movies lately. Uh, I watched um, most of them. Recent one was... Uh, uh... Oh, it's called... Gloria um... Gaynor. I would never have guessed Gloria Gaynor. I will survive. Is that it? I don't know. What? Who knows? Dance routine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did a little dancing. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any class rivals or anyone you're trying your best to keep up with? Or does that kind of competition not really motivate you? Yes and no. Through class rivals yeah. in what? Uh, in I guess jujitsu. Class rivals, yeah. like other other clubs. No, no, other people in the class. I think he's referring to that that you want the best. I mean, they're always, I always, always, know, always pick guys that are better than me and yeah. go. Okay, you know, I did pretty well against them today, and mm. just kind of gauge yourself that way. But yeah. it's always tough because everyone has up and down days yeah. too, right? You know. So. And a lot of times, you might be spending the next month or two months working on something you're not good at. Mm -hmm. So like I might be rolling with Brian and he's like, oh, I'm getting mount on Paul all the time these days, but I'm working on getting out of mount. So I want yeah. him to take mount, right? And same thing with Brian. 
Like I'm like, oh man, I'm snatching these arm bars like crazy on Brian. But Brian's working on armbar escapes. Yeah. Right? You don't announce that to your sparring partner. Yeah. Right? They so, just think you suck for a while. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, man, I was getting Brian all the time. Now I can't get him at all. Yeah. What's up with that? Right? Like, so it's tough to measure that sort of a thing. Like, there are people in class that I find, I think of as a running mate. Someone that, that I try to kind of gauge myself with. And they're usually somebody who is better at some aspect of the game than me or mm. better all around than me, right? That I that I kind of want to set that bar to. Mm. But there's no, like, rivalry, I don't think. There's no... We're not never, like, measuring wins, never counting wins. So, yes, I do personally, myself, have rivals in the classroom, but it's more like running maze. But no, it doesn't motivate me, but it does help me measure what i'm doing yeah right i'm not out there to best my teammates i'm out there to best who i was yesterday and that's sort of so yes and no what about yourself uh, i think it sounds pretty similar yeah you know, i, I like to we're probably like, on a similar push myself uh, with yeah. certain types of people that they usually have problems with and if i can you know mm -hmm. do better in a certain thing that i have not been doing or i really work on you know a certain escape or a certain move Mm -hmm. And you definitely notice it, so. But um, I mean, that's the cool thing. Everyone, they're getting better too, mm -hmm. as you're getting better. So it's kind of you're always you're always trying to chase, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get uh, close on certain things or pass, but uh, yeah. no real, uh, you know, rivalries, I guess. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty friendly environment. Yeah, so. it is a real friendly environment, and like, and not all schools are. It's uh, yeah, like yeah. I said, I haven't been like you've yeah. been to a lot more schools than I have. Yeah, I've yeah. only been at this one yeah. school. I was at a more MMA driven school before, and there was definitely like hard on real rivalry going on, like punch you in the face rivalry, and they uh, they had no time for pussies, you know, there's no time for wimpy guys like me, right? Mm -hmm. Some newbie coming in like right? They didn't even want to waste time. Not even waste time with yeah. drilling with me. Yeah. So I'm just, it makes you feel like shit, you know? Yeah. Like, like maybe I have something to offer. I don't know, right? Yes, I understand you're training. You're trying to be the best MMA fighter you can be, but no time for, no time to roll with the old guy. That's right. You know? And uh, that works for some people. Mm, for me, I guess I'm a bit of a, I need a softer touch. I mean, uh, I'm a little too sensitive, maybe. And uh, I need a little praise once in a while. I need to, to get that little bit of a, hey, you're doing a good job kind of guy, you know? In the beginning, anyways, until I can find my own legs and figure out where I stand and things. But, you know, that's it. You're all different. We all have different motivations. Different things will work with it, each of us. Mm -mm -mm. Sangre asks, how do you prep for BJJ classes? Can you show us the camera angles of the space again, please? Uh, yes, I will. Um, <laughs> they'll sound like a group of betas. Alphas would build you up so you could be strong T behind them. True enough. Um, how do we prep for BJJ classes? How about yourself? I, I know you have a real solid routine in the uh, pre-class routine. Pre-class, uh, yeah. it's usually, you know, uh, <laughs> I usually try to get sleep after work. So, mm -hmm. uh, work starts pretty early um but usually i try to cook a decent meal and i try to eat at least 40 minutes before before class which is sometimes about half an hour depends what the class you know sometimes it's better to eat about an hour hour before class mm -hmm. so just good uh, good amount of carbs and sleep and uh and some protein mm -hmm. and give you energy to make it through the class and uh hot shower uh, sometimes I'll do a hot shower. It's yeah. nice to to clean up so you're not a stinky mess going into class. <laughs> yeah. uh, and yeah. us old guys it helps loosen up the muscles yeah. a bit. See you later. Oh. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Bye, audience. We still got one member. Yeah, one, two one members. Doggy. We got our two diehard diehard fans. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, saying like. Um, yeah, yeah. Where's the old pooch? There he goes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Action shot. There we go. I knew that was going to Hey, we'll cut away. <laughs> <laughs> Why is PETA calling us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Um, here's a kind of a funny thing that uh, kind of struck me in the beginning uh, when I started doing BJJ. Um, because I'd already been in a, a long-term relationship for a while. I'd getting ready for BJJ class felt exactly the same as getting ready for a date. Shower, get clean, you know, make sure your nails are whatever good and like, you know, like, uh, and that you smell okay, you know, little extra pit stick or a, a smelly moisturizer or something because you're, you're literally going to be crushing up against somebody else. I'm not that nice. <laughs> really? Oh, I, that's... I, that's, I mean, that's sort of what I felt like, you know, like I'm like, do, 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 getting ready, you know, make sure I'm nice and clean and uh, my clothes aren't smelly and stuff like that. I'm like, hmm, this is, feels like I'm going out on a date, on a date with 40 other guys. <laughs> <laughs> go roll around with. Go roll around, you know, it's funny. Oh, is it actually shot? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, instant replay. Instant replay, yeah. Do, do, do. None of that cutthroat rivalry, but more gentlemanly. Yeah, they call uh, BJJ um, the um, the gentle the the gentle art. It's like it's supposed to be something you can do for your entire life, no matter how old you are. And uh, because of its lack of impact, like there's you're not getting beat up. I've noticed. Uh, at least in my experience, the better people are, the smoother and slower they are. Because they just know exactly where they need to be and what they need to do. Mm. And it doesn't matter how squirmy-wormy, flaily you are, they will they will disarm, disarm that, pin a shoulder to the ground, and then just bulldoze through you. You know? No matter what. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Slipstream, thank you very much for thinking we're great. You're great, Brian. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'd be nervous to let one rip on someone. It happens. One of us did that at a takedown or something. The horrors. Oh, that happens. This happens, this happens all the time. I mean, sometimes you gotta move yep. just because it smells bad. At but... the last tournament, I, I fucking ripped on Whoa. this one dude like three or four times on the same match yeah nope. hey, did you win uh i don't remember if that was my winning or losing oh, match on. but i i remember last tournament i was definitely ripping plenty nope that was a loser that was a loser match oh. that was a loser match that i was must have made him that was the open weight <laughs> that was the open weight the last one that i did oh, okay yeah the where i was just getting squished so goddamn bad <laughs> no there's always weird stuff you know <laughs> It's uh, it can be gross at times, you know, if someone's sweating on your on your face, and it's kind of gross. Yeah, when the sweat drips, it's like yeah. you do a lot of things in jujitsu. People sit on your face, you know. You you might accidentally cup a ball sack, you know, like things like this happen. Shit happens. But definitely, when somebody's body fluid leaves their body and you see enters the air and contacts your body, it is. A different level like like I will purposely put my forehead in the middle of your sweaty ass chest to pin you to the ground and it's not a big deal but if a drip comes off of yes. you and <laughs> gross yeah <laughs> yep. you get a little weird but it, you, you, there's always that time for uh, you know since you're just is kind of friendly you can be in a position or a hold or whatever and be all like I'm just going to wipe my eye there for a second. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, I don't know, this kind of thing when you're rolling with someone and they're like, you're something like, oh, this. they ain't going yeah. to go, you know, do yeah. something to you, right? Where you're just yeah. like, yeah, courtesy wipe, you know. Yeah, oh, sure I am I am a super sweaty dude. And if I'm on mount position and I'm like working for something, I'll stop for a second and be like, just to make sure stop that. Stop the rain shower. Yeah, to sop it disgusting. up a bit. <laughs> Special oh, delivery. Thank you, Monica. Beer cam. Oh, beer cam. Oh, god dang it. 
Why isn't it switching? There we go. Da -da -da -da. Dun -dun. Thank you to our uh, audience member for refilling. Sangre that asks, how would you rate my skills as a newbie? Did you roll with her at the party? Yeah, she's pretty good. Yeah, I was quite impressed, actually. Yeah. Sangri, you badass. You badass. Runs in the family. You badass, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, it's, it's just cool. Like, some people really, yeah. uh, really clicks for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's always uh, seeing people progress, too. Yeah, for sure. It's really cool to see people progress. And suddenly, you're like, wait, this person's not an easy get no more. You know, no. like, oh, wait, now they're beating me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, everyone's going to progress at their own rates. Some people are going to be better than you. Some people are going to be not as quick. All right. But uh, it's really neat to watch people hit, like, aha moments where they just sort of, like, like their game wakes up. Yeah. And suddenly it's just like, whoa, how the hell? Brian started at that point. Well, this he, guy was just well, you kind of piece crazy. piece stuff together. Like, um, if you're, you know, you, you kind of have your moves, but you also got to kind of figure out the main game plan. Like, what is your actual goal to do, rather than just uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> shaking, shaking my head. S M H. Yep. So uh, your game plan. Goal, yeah, just yeah. How you, basically you put things together and you actually have a game plan of what you're gonna do. Because mm -hmm. in, in jujitsu, I find it it's very much uh, an art that you create like yeah. you have your pieces you know but no one can really tell you how to do it you have got to kind of put it all together yourself <clears throat> yeah it's a it's a collection of of different bits that you select and kind of put together like lego mm -hmm. into to build something and everyone's is unique it's got to fit around a different the shape each one everyone's game and i don't know i find that really cool and i i really like i like how uh professor lovato said it was uh his game is a series of funnels and if it starts here he knows what he has to do to funnel it into this game into this game and eventually into this game if i get you into this game this last funnel you're done you're done I'm gonna get you. That's it. You're not escaping this one, right? And it's all about that. Just try to redirect people over and over again into that, into that uh, one funnel. From this funnel to that funnel to this funnel to this funnel to that funnel. Yeah. And right now, I only have one funnel. <laughs> yeah, maybe right? maybe one or two. Like yeah, you got maybe two moves. one and one half of a funnel, yeah. right? Whereas Professor Lovato has all the funnels. <laughs> yeah. Right, and that's so cool. How you can. You don't need to be the same kind of player. You can play all these different games and get good at them. You know, you lose an arm, you're not done. You have a whole different aspect of the game that you can still apply mm -hmm. without that one arm. And I'm focus not on chopped it. Off, but... uh, yeah, yeah, you know, just like, <laughs> oh, chopped. my elbow sprain. I can't really be using this arm right now. But if you do actually lose your arm, you might want to get it checked out. <laughs> yeah. Why is this so floppy, man? All the bones fell out. <laughs> and you're very welcome, Sangre. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did I do? Dun, dun, dun. I'm a clicking things too fast. Too fast. Let's fight too fast. There we go. I don't like this one here in the corner. It's annoying me. Yeah. Go away. That's better. Problem solved. Problem resolved. Well, Brian, I think this is about the end of our broadcast yeah. this evening. Yeah, good time. It's been an incredibly um, exciting and uh, action-packed adventure. I think we'll let them be the judge of that, but... <laughs> I feel... You know, We've we've meandered through the valleys of MMA and up into the mountains of restaurant tourism and and uh, through that uh, and through the green pastures 
of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> All the way back and around to the rocky foothills of beer. This reminds me of Bill Clinton right now. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Ah! Hey! <laughs> what? 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 Oh, come back! Come back! Come back! Well, I this is Brian. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> <laughs> not even one. <laughs> not even once. This is Brian. This is Paul. And this is Monica. And thank you for watching Dumb Luck Video Podcast. Dumb Luck Brewing. Video, Video podcast, podcast number 18. 18. Yes. Adios. Adios. And you're awesome. Peace. Eh. Eh. Music. Yep. There. And mm. turn off the.